Hey, what's happening, guys? A couple years ago, I did a video on the best Arduino starter kit. And I think we might have it beat here today with this kit here from Adept. This is the ultimate uh, Arduino starter kit. She doesn't say too much. So let's take a look at here see what's in here a thank you note a decal for learning the uh, resistor codes a CD that I'm sure contains uh, you know some scripts and whatnot to get you going a couple boxes which we'll get into there in a minute we've got a breadboard, I think this is what the uh, 804 tie point, something like that. Quality unknown as of yet. We have female to female DuPont cables. We have male to female DuPont cables. And we have male to male DuPont cables. We've got a membrane keypad. Some male header pins and a very few resistors. Uh, 10K and 1K in there. Let me put this back in. All right, we'll move that out of the way and we shall examine box number one. What do we find in box number one? Two potentiometers both B-type and 10K. A sensor, this is a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor. This is a nine gram servo, Tower Pro, yep. These are one of the most popular micro servos out there. We have a little DC electric motor, an A to B USB cord, I'm looking at this side trying to figure out what that is. This is a uh, infrared uh, motion detector. This is a joystick. And this is what you would call like an experimenter's shield to go on top of your Arduino. I'm going to put these back in the box. You know, I just have a feeling that this box is never going to close again, right? Box number two. We have a selection of LEDs. There is an infrared receiver, some capacitors, transistors, a, a piezo, couple piezo sounders, um, some 12 by 12 tack switches, a relay, six by six tack switches, diodes. Zener diodes. Nice. This is a uh, stepper motor driver. Little breadboard power supply. This is a uh, 10 segment bar graph display. A uh, 7 segment by 4 LED display. And a 8 by 8 LED matrix. We have another segment segment display. This is a uh, 74 HC 595N. Got two of those. That's an NE555. I can't tell what that one is. Maybe you guys can read it. L910H. We have a stepper motor. 9 volt battery adapter. Ultrasonic distance sensor. This is your um, 16 
by two LCD. Yep. An infrared transmitter to go with the infrared receiver that's in there. This is a uh, accelerometer. Not sure how many degrees freedom are in there. And an Arduino Mega. And that's one of the reasons that I say this, whoops, this is uh, probably going to be one of the best Arduino starter kits out there right now because this whole kit is $30. And you get all this stuff. So I'm going to put this stuff back in here for the moment. We're going to get back to it. Don't worry. Calm down. It's not going to go back in here either, is it? No. Better than the other one. All right. Let's see what's on this disc. Tutorial code, circuit diagram, and data sheets. All right. Let's go over to the computer and have a look. All right, I got the DVD opened up so we can have a look here. Circuit diagrams. Blinking LED. Well, sure, I'd love to have a look. What shall we open it with? We'll just do photos. Okay. Now, that's useful, because this shows you exactly where to lay things out if you're a beginner. So that's pretty cool. Let's see a simple counter. I'm not going to go through all these. I'm just going to open up a couple of them and we'll have a look. Okay. What else have we got? Control a stepper motor with IR remote. Very nice. I mean, this shows you precisely where to put the wires. So if you are not uh, you know, up on this kind of stuff, you're just learning, teaching yourself, this is going to be excellent. All right, code. Blinking LED. Yep. Just your basic Arduino code. I'm not going to go through it. This is what interests me. Data sheets. I have to wait for that to open. Okay. There's our 74HC595, 70, which is, of course, your shift register. And, yeah, that is basically all the info you need to run it. Let's see this one here. Our LCD module. Yeah. Very nice stuff. Oh, hey, that was the wrong button. Don't hit that button again, Paul. We just want that to go away. Go away. There we go. Hey, you're not supposed to see that. That's behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> physical connection diagram isn't that what we just looked at oh wow okay so if you oh, hold on all right so check that out over here we have an actual picture of what your setup is supposed to look like and then over here, we have the diagram as to what it's supposed to look like. This is incredible. I mean, this is what you need if you're teaching your stuff, you're teaching yourself how to do this. I'm seriously impressed. And do we have an actual schematic for it as well? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Let's look at something. Uh, 
more connections here awesome so you've got the schematic you've got the circuit diagram and you got a picture of every circuit in here they're teaching you how how to build well that's awesome let's look at this PDF here which I assume is going to be like the manual for this yeah man that took a while to load so now well, there's 133 pages here telling you what each of the parts are very nice a little information about you know what an Arduino is where to download your IDE and each of the circuits broken down even telling you how to calculate your resistance and whatnot using Ohm's law breaking down the functions of the Arduino sketch this is useful stuff active buzzer I like it I like it a lot this disk is a an excellent thing to have on hand this I am assuming is some projects that they want you to build I'm not sure well, let's have a look shall we give me a second okay so obviously it's uh, their channel A deep four-wheel drive smart robot car key. Oh, so this is advertising. I thought this was uh, projects they wanted you to build out of the kit. But still, that's very cool. I like it. All right. What do you say we actually build something with this kit? Now, I don't want to tear too much stuff out of here because here's what I'm going to do with this kit. I have a friend who's a viewer of the channel up in Canada and he is working on setting up some maker spaces for the less fortunate in his area so I am going to be sending him this kit along with some other stuff for his maker space so I don't want to tear it up too much all right so this is what I think we can do if we look right here we have our uh, bar graph we have a potentiometer and we have some wires connecting back to our Arduino nothing uh, you know nothing too much going on there I think we can uh, attempt this one what do you say all right let's uh pardon me oh that's the wrong one whoopsies <laughs> hang on a second okay there we go so looking at this we're gonna take 5 volts out of the Arduino it's gonna be our power it's gonna to go to this red rail here and we are also gonna jump it over here so this is our VCC then we have 220 ohm resistors feeding each leg of the bar graph display into their anode side and their cathode side yes sorry phone is coming back to the Arduino so the Arduino is obviously switching them to ground pardon me apparently either the phone the USB hub or the computer has lost this ever love in mind so I disconnected it we shan't have that problem again all right so what I was saying is I, th I believe the uh, the Arduino is switching them to ground and then we have our ground connection coming up to here and we have an analog connection to this potentiometer and also here so as we turn the potentiometer up this analog pin is going to read a voltage and it is going to translate that let's take a look that ah, wrong button pardon me let's take a look at the code here 
So here's the code, and again, I did not write this. This was written by Tom. This over. Okay, there we go. So we're setting up our pins 1 through 10. We're just giving them names. Then we're going to set up potentiometer on pin analog 3 and set its value to 0. Here in our setup, we're going to turn all of our pins to outputs, which is interesting because I would have also set an input on analog 3, but I know you don't have to do that, but it's just something I would do just to be thorough. Then our loop here, we're going to create a float variable, which means a variable with decimal points called A. It's going to read the potentiometer. Then we're going to map the value of A from 0 to 1023, which is the full 8-bit value from 0 to 11 and then we're going to write how many pins are so for instance if our potentiometer is reading halfway in between the 1023 so 512 that should give us a value of about 5 and it will set 5 of the pins high then it waits 50 milliseconds and uh, checks to see if you changed it so let me get this set up and we'll see what we can do. Hang on just a minute. Alright, I've got it all hooked up. Here's our potentiometer. And as we turn it, you can see the bar graph increase. I mean, there's, there's nothing particularly groundbreaking about the code here, but just showing you what you can do with these components. And if you're into teaching and you're teaching somebody new, whether it's your child, a grandchild, oh, here comes a train. This is going to be something that will definitely hold a child's interest. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with the adept, adept, adept Arduino starter kit bought this with my own money this wasn't uh, supplied I bought a bunch of different starter kits in the 30 to 50 dollar range and f to find out which one had the best stuff and uh, it's this one I'll put a link to it down below into my Amazon store and like I said this kit and some other stuff I'm going to be sending to a friend in Canada who's trying to uh, put together some maker spaces so that'll be a lot of fun Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to everybody who joined us for the uh, Zoom Patreon meeting on uh, August 8th. We had a little fun, but we ran long, and uh, you know, if you don't pay for Zoom, it cuts you off after 40 minutes. So at 40 minutes, it went, and we were done talking whether we were done or not. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.